Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Prince William are the children of Princess Diana. Unlike his calm brother William, Prince Harry always proved rebellious before becoming a mature man today. After the fairy wedding with Meghan Markle, Prince Harry continues to be the most mentioned name for the press because of his statement to leave the British royal family and want financial independence. This is considered a major crisis in the British royal family, with a long history spanning many centuries. Playful childhood like any other normal child. On September 15, 1984, Princess Diana gave birth to a second son at St. Mary's Hospital, London, and was baptized at St. George's Church at Windsor Castle on December 21, 1984, with the official name of Henry Charles Albert David. From an early age, Harry has shown his personality as a curious boy. He is very discoverable and loves adventure. The boy always shines and is charming in photos taken with his family, especially with his mother. Royal memoir writer Penny Juner said, Harry is a clever, funny and energetic boy. Harry had a peaceful and normal childhood like any other kid in the world. Richard Kay, a royal commentator who is quite close to Princess Diana, revealed that the late lady often talks with friends about the two precious sons, especially Prince Harry. Diana loved both children and herself, and Prince Charles tried to show that they loved them equally. However, this is really very difficult. Sharing with the mail, Kay revealed the princess's worries about everyone's treatment of Harry when compared to William, who would later inherit the throne. To make up for her children, Diana devotes much love and attention to her youngest son, Prince Harry. The intimacy and closeness of Princess Diana for her two sons is one of the things that she often praised by the people. Diana always tries to make raising her normal as possible. She asked the officers in Kensington Palace to call the two princes by their first names rather than using the royal title or prince. Fateful day upsets the life of the little prince. On August 31, 1997, England was shocked at the news of Princess Diana's death in an accident. Later in a press interview, Harry admitted, Losing my mother at age 12, I kept all my emotions closed for 20 years. That greatly affected my personal life and all my work. The pain is still in my heart and I need to relieve it. Prince Harry once acknowledged the mental health issues after Princess Diana's death, and his brother William had to persuade the prince to seek the help of a psychologist. Prince Harry added, when faced with suffering, each person has a different way of responding. I just keep silent, don't talk about it and bury it in my heart. Prince Harry often hated the media, because Harry always assumed that the media was responsible for his mother's death. It is known that Princess Diana died in an accident in Paris, France while trying to find a way to avoid paparazzi. Bringing the most notorious prince of the British royal family. As time went on, people realized the little prince grew up again. No longer a playful, shitty kid in any year. Harry does not seem to want to be constrained within the royal court and seeks to literally rebel with barbaric knights in bars and nightclubs. At the age of 17, Harry got into an addiction, which caused Prince Charles to send his son to a rehabilitation center. While he extravagant, Prince continued to cause trouble, so he returned home after only a day. Of course, the image of the playboy dancing in the disco the young prince's bar appeared dense on British media. Harry's educational path is similar to that of his brother William. After graduating with A grade in 2003, he rested for a year. After that, he worked for a sheep farm in Australia and for AIDS, infected children in Lesotho, a country in South Africa, 
and a member of the British Commonwealth. This work paved the way for Harry to establish a charity later. In 2005, a shocking event occurred that caused the British royal family to stand still. Harry caused a wave of indignation at the image of him wearing a Nazi costume with a cross in his arm. One could not imagine that the Prince of England would be able to act like that. The Sun's correspondent, Duncan Larkney, recounted, At the time, I wrote about Harry as a young prince, with a burning and angry spirit, and always tried to deny his royal offspring. I phoned the royal family and informed them of a picture of Prince Harry, dressed in a shirt that had the Nazi symbol on it. We said we'd print that photo on the front page of the newspaper the next day. However, the other end of the phone line is just a silence. The next day, a picture of Prince Harry appeared on the front page of a series of British newspapers. The photo caused a wave of outrage and engulfed the royal family in crisis. Then Harry apologized. It was a bad choice, and I'm sorry. In the eyes of many, Harry was painted with a liberal lifestyle, with too many bad habits. And the public speculates that he is as useless as those with money. In 2005, Harry joined the army. Here, he spent 10 years serving in the armed forces, becoming the first royal member in more than 25 operations in the war zone. He expressed frustration in 2007 when he was not allowed by military leaders to serve in Iraq because of concerns about many dangers. However, then Harry spent 10 weeks in Afghanistan. After a while, in 2012, people were shocked to see the press flooded with images of the Prince of England taken naked, playing a beer drinking challenge, among a crowd of girls wearing two piece swimsuit revealing at a nightclub in Las Vegas. Immediately after the scandal, Harry was assigned to the front in Afghanistan, but as a pilot of an Apache helicopter. Time in the military has helped turn Harry into a stronger guy, more willful and more mature. Later, in an interview, the prince admitted that his youthful life made him make many mistakes, because he could not identify himself and even thought about giving up royal life. But, it was the army that made the prince understand his purpose of life. Perhaps Harry's only luck is that he is at the bottom of the list of successors, so he does not have to shoulder many responsibilities like his brother William and have a more free life. I want to be my mother's pride. During the fighting in Afghanistan, Prince Harry had witnessed firsthand many unfortunate comrades who died on the battlefield or returned unhealthy. Returning to England, Prince Harry launched the Invictus Games, an international sporting event for wounded soldiers, in 2014 and has since been held annually. In the end, the rebellious prince realized that he could use his own influence to change the lives of others in a positive way. That's why, even though the principles of the royal family do not keep a free soul like him, but Harry is devoted to humanitarian activities. What the whole life of his deceased mother, Princess Diana, pursue? Harry may be the boy who dances all night in a bar with music, but is also in the intense sun mixed with wind and dust, shoveling every shovel of land to build schools for orphans in the AIDES epidemic in Africa. He continued his mother's work helping children with HIV AIDS and helping the non-profit organization Halo Trust in clearing mines. He even walked in cold weather along the road for over 320 kilometers in an effort to raise money for the Walking with the Wounded charity. Harry also admits that he is a young lover. He is currently a godfather to six children of relatives and friends. He is also a funny man, countless actions caught in the lens of the royal photographer. He is a person with a humorous personality. For example, Winnie Harlow, a Canadian model participating in the America's Next Top Model contest, 
did not dare to believe her eyes when she saw Harry sticking his tongue in the background in his photo. Filiality, humor, sincerity and responsibility are what the public sees in Harry's present tense. Everyone once had an outrageous youth with daft actions. Harry chose to live true to his personality, but was willing to apologize when he was wrong. And that bumpy path of maturity made a prince closer to the common people than ever before. From love at first sight to royal weddings. During many years when he was one of the most famous single men in the world, Harry's personal life and affection also attracted much attention. Harry's first love was Chelsea Davy, the daughter of a real estate giant in Zimbabwe. They met through friends and dated for six years. Prince Harry then dated Cressida Bonis, a girl from a noble family. However, she ended their two-year relationship in 2014 to pursue the limelight. At the end of 2016, the prince affirmed his relationship with American actor Meghan Markle and released a statement criticizing the press annoying her. The two met each other through a meeting arranged by a mutual friend, and after just two dates, the two went on vacation in Botswana together. Harry once said sweetly, In that moment, the beautiful Meghan accidentally slipped and fell into my life, and then, after only a brief dating period, the two became husband and wife in a royal wedding. You are watching videos at LMT channel, specializing in entertainment events. Be sure to check out the new channel of the group that gathers the best videos about the royal family. More details please see below video. The Silent Rebellion For a long time, the British media have been constantly questioning and citing evidence that Meghan Markle deliberately disobeyed the royal rules and expressed her differences with other family members, typically her sister, in law, Princess Kate. And Prince Harry, since getting married, is said to have transformed, became a responsible husband, and loves his wife immensely. But also since the marriage, the royal couple's moves have made the public suspect that they do not have a common voice with other family members. At the end of 2018, the couple expressed their desire to live separate from the royal family and were approved by the Queen. In 2019, after giving birth to Archie, the little prince's baptism was also held privately, without the witness of the press or the public, making the fans extremely disappointed. The storm reached its peak when Harry and Meghan took a break from performing royal duties in November and December. Accordingly, Prince Harry and his wife withdrew from the royal system. What his family continues to engage in some aspects that feel appropriate, such as family matters and supporting work for the Queen. After six weeks of evading all royal duties, they returned to England and abruptly made an unprecedented statement in the Queen's utter surprise. Specifically, on January 8, 2020, the media almost exploded with the shocking statement of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that they would withdraw from the position of senior member of the royal family and will endeavor to be financially autonomous. Is the tolerance limit broken? When Meghan married Prince Harry, the British media drew a beautiful story about a Cinderella married to the prince and they will live happily ever after. But it was the media that made Cinderella realize the palace was not where she belonged, and the prince also understood that love was what he needed, and they decided to leave. Remember in an article published in 2019, CNN said the British royal had to increase staff to control the disdainful content targeting Meghan on social networks. Indirectly affirmed, that the royal couple is facing an attack to the crisis of the media, causing their lives to be disturbed. In October 2019, the war between the couple Harry and Meghan, with the official tabloids broke out 
and became increasingly tense. Meghan Markle has sued the mall on Sunday for illegally disclosing her and her father's letter. Prince Harry even sued a series of newspapers alleging they were organizing an offensive campaign against Meghan. This is similar to what they did to his mother Princess Diana. After a series of litigation days with the media, an unexpected interview was posted. Meghan said, not many people asked me if I was okay. Immediately some commentators thought that this statement was meant to criticize the other members of the royal family, leading to speculations about the departure of Prince Harry and Meghan. This was once again confirmed in the video of the Queen's last Christmas speech, with the scene completely absent from the image of the Sussex family. The Queen of England only left photographs of Prince Charles and his wife Prince William's family by their side, emphasizing their inheritance. The cause of the media interference and coldness from the family members themselves has exceeded the limits of Harry and Meghan. After a series of litigation days with the media, an unexpected interview was posted. Meghan said, not many people asked me if I was okay. Immediately some commentators thought that this statement was meant to criticize the other members of the royal family, leading to speculations about the departure of Prince Harry and Meghan. This was once again affirmed in the video of the Queen's last Christmas speech, with the scene completely absent from the image of the Sussex family. The Queen of England only left photographs of Prince Charles and his wife and Prince William's family by their side, emphasizing their inheritance. Was the media's violent and meddling interference from family members beyond the limits of Harry and Meghan? In fact, Prince Harry suddenly became a criminal, strongly condemned, with a bit of injustice here. After all, even though he was a British prince, Harry, like every other normal man, had his own family. As a husband, he has the right to protect his wife and give her the best. As a father, it is understandable that Harry wants his children to grow up in a normal environment like other children, without being disturbed by the media. No one wants his family to become the subject of being attacked and ridiculed, so the 35-year-old man wants to go to another country easier to live is understandable. They are still an important part of the royal family. If you look from the royal perspective, it is undeniable that the British royal has faced many turbulent 2019. It is thought that the departure of Harry and Meghan will make royal hearts broken. But no, we still see a Queen Elizabeth calm and resilient, like the way the Queen has faced a series of scandals of family members over the past year. The extraordinary meeting of the Royal Family of England, which took place on January the 13th, 2020, ended with a beautiful message, sent by the Queen herself. My family and I are entirely supportive of Harry and Meghan's desire to create a new life as a young family. Although we would have preferred them to remain full, time working members of the royal family, we respect and understand their wish to live a more independent life as a family while remaining a valued part of my family. Mr. Dickie Arbiter, the Queen's press secretary from 1988 to 2000 said, the British royal family has existed for over 1,000 years. It faced all kinds of difficulties, but it survived. It survived through 1992, survived the abdication of King Edward in 1936, and it survived through 2019. The crisis, called Harry and Meghan, according to the BBC, has left deep sorrow in the hearts of the royal family and the Queen especially when they had not been consulted in advance about this decision. But that crisis may also help one of the oldest royal families in the world to become stronger before difficulties and towards a more streamlined and innovative monarchy. The future is ahead. On the evening of January 18, 2020, Buckingham Palace issued a notice Harry and Meghan Markle will no longer use the royal titles, 
His Royal Highness, or Her Royal Highness. This means the couple can make any commercial transaction because they are no longer members of the royal family. People question how the Prince Harry and his wife can be financially independent. The couple published detailed documents detailing the structure and grants of their lives. In it, it shows that they receive 5% of the income from the Sovereign Financing Fund, a fund deducted from the British tax for the Queen every year to support their official activities. Harry and his wife have proposed not to accept this money. 95% of their income comes from the Duchy of Cornwall private real estate controlled by Prince Charles. In particular, the Prince continued to sponsor the couple, but did not mention the specific amount. Compared to most ordinary people, Harry and his wife were quite wealthy. The BBC quoted David McClure, author of a book on royal finances, saying the Prince inherited about £7 million from his late mother, Princess Diana. As for Meghan, she was an actress who was very successful before she met the Prince. She herself had about dollars five million, pound three point nine million, in assets before marrying the Prince. In total, there will be about ten to fifteen million pounds, Mr. McClure said. According to experts, after withdrawing from the royal family to seek financial independence, Harry and Meghan have the ability to make a lot of money in North America. Because Americans love the British royal couple very much and are curious about where they will live or how they will lead a new life. America has long been obsessed with the British royal family. This passion may have originated after the eighth King Edward abdicated in 1936 to Mary Wallace Simpson, a woman who had a husband before, similar to Meghan. The wedding between Harry and Meghan, the actress born in Los Angeles, has increased interest in the American public. Nearly 30 million television viewers watched their wedding in 2018, according to market research firm Nielsen, significantly more than the number of wedding followers between Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton in the year 2011. According to Market Watch, Prince Harry and Princess Meghan could become a global media power after leaving the British royal family. Their Instagram page has 10.6 million followers and each ad post can bring them tens of thousands of dollars. American public relations expert Ron Tarostian said that the couple's chances of getting rich are infinite. They can speak, publish books, participate in television shows or even represent brands. Where couples live is also important. Is Canada, where Meghan lived and worked for seven years? Makes Los Angeles, where she grew up and her mother still lives there, but she won't settle in Los Angeles until the end of US President Donald Trump's term. How much time they spend in the UK could be an important question, as Meghan is said to have applied for British citizenship, and this requires that she only live abroad 90 days a year. Thank you for watching the video on LMT channel. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to support the group. Don't stop.